Hi, my name is Olivia. I'm 18 and I'm a senior. Olivia, how long has it been since you were physically in school? It's been about 22 days since I've been at school. And how are you doing? I've never gone through anything like this, so it's definitely, I think, the scariest thing I've ever gone through. I don't know what's going to happen. I think throughout my life, I've always had adults that could tell me what was going to happen, and I just, nobody really knows. Having everything be canceled now is just, it's kind of heartbreaking, I have to say. And right now I'm doing a soil lab for my AP environmental class and I'm about to log on to an English meet. So I'm right in the middle of my day pretty much and it's a lot more chaotic than I thought it would be. There's a lot more work to do. I have um, a pretty long list of things to get going. And I miss seeing my teachers and I miss like interacting when I learn because that's how I learn. I, the online schooling isn't necessarily you know, my favorite thing to do, it's not, it's, it's just not the same thing. And I think that that's worrisome for me, but, but I mean, if it, if it'll help people stay alive, then I of course want this to be the way it is. So I just got my graduation announcements. They're, they're really cute, but, um, we had to take off like the information about party, the party and things like that. And it's basically just me saying that I'm going to Bloomsburg University and that I am in the Mo Honors College and I'm gonna major in political science. The graduation announcement was actually a really good pick me up. Cause I did, I gra I'm graduating high school and that's like, that's a really big deal, and I think even though, you know, it's in a pandemic, it's still, it's still like, like one of my dreams. And I think that from this, I've learned that if I can take away anything, it's just to keep going by each day and keep hoping for a better day than the last, because, because I think that's really all I can do right now. I just found out that I will not be going back to school ever again. Um, I kind of expected this to happen, but it's definitely, it's definitely not what I wanted. I, um, I really wanted to, uh, have like a last day and a last performance with my friends that I've been playing music with forever and I wanted to you know get to say goodbye to my teachers and have that kind of last day thing and my friends and I always take a picture of all of us on the last day of school and now and now we won't have one of those either and it just kind of feels it doesn't really feel real that any of this is like actually happening, but I know, I know that it is and I never, I never will be a student again going into that building and that, that really just, for me personally, this was like one of the, one of the things I was really, really afraid of, and I'm mostly at a loss for words right now. I just, I wish it could be different. I really do. If anything comes out of this, it might be more empathy and more sympathy for one another. Even if it's just for a little while, I think that we can recognize that we've all lost things, whether it's people or, you know, things we've looked forward to for 
a good part of our lives, I think that it's still something that we can recognize within each other that we've lost. How will you get through this situation? I think just recognizing that it's okay to be upset about things that are we're missing because I feel part of me feels kind of guilty for feeling sad about this stuff because it's I'm not in like I'm not I don't have bad health and I haven't been personally affected by the virus like physically or anything but I think just accepting that it's okay to be upset that these things are happening and things are not working out the way anyone really wanted them to. How do you think you and others your age will remember this time? Well, I think that it'll be like a unifying thing that everyone my age has gone through because I'm 18, so I wasn't alive during 9-11, but I know that that was a very unifying experience for the country and for the world. And I don't think I've ever ha lived through something quite like that before. So I think it'll be like kind of how we define our generation.